Um, how does your media product represent particular social groups? Well, obviously, um, the first social group that we show is a teenage girl. So she's sort of, how she's old? Quite troubled, would isn't say she? sort of 15 to 17, somewhere in that. She's typical, because um, she's just a typical, like typical teenager. teenager. Yeah, she's not, yeah, we're not really like, like, are we stereotypical? No, we're not like, stereotypical. She's not like a goth or a child. She's just pretty normal, really. She's quite like, average. She's average. That's <laughs> <laughs> what you later go on and see that there is something different about her. Yeah. yeah, but she's not like in she a particular sub No, she's She almost yeah. seems a very quiet, keep to herself girl because of the bus scene where she's just listening to her music. Yeah. And yeah. That's why, like, we came back to the whole like reality thing. We don't want to like make up a subculture kind of thing. Yeah, yeah I mean, I it think would if be... we made it a goth, it would change the story it would kind completely. Of, like, like, our always... feedback would probably yeah, be, like, might change really... people's opinions. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, because like people expect goths to be depressed and all sort of that slit would change, your like, wrists our and stuff. Audience as well. yeah. So if they were, they'll probably assume that because of this. Um, because of the oppressive parents that she has, she'll be very depressed. And we've got to remember as well that who our film's it. aimed at, it's aimed at people in their early 20s, maybe, and it'd be seen in like art, cinema and stuff like that. Not ev not all of them would kind of get these subcultures that we associate with, like like chavs and goths and stuff like that. And if we dressed like that, they might not just get it. Yeah. So yeah. we had to kind of stick with. It's like the rep I don't know, our representation of our a film opening is that like, Stereotypical, because think of like Fish Tank, like their opening with all that, their characters are being like chavs and that. Yeah. Is that like, are we making the assumption they're like that? Like Beth being really quiet in that? Yeah, yeah I suppose you know I mean? we are, but that sort of sets up her character more when you see her. It's almost more shocking because uh, she's As the not, film goes on, you learn more about her yeah. and you learn who she is. And yeah. It's more shocking that because she's not stereotypically a goth or a chav, like it's more sort of because she's normal, you wouldn't. It's almost like you don't expect normal people to have bad things happening to them. Well, yeah, yeah because, because if you that's think what makes about it, quite it interesting. Yeah. actually in real life you don't know people and you never know what's going on in someone's life properly. So you might see someone and think, oh, they look an absolute mess, but you don't know that at home they could actually be being abused. Mm. When so we're sort of conveying that through Beth because she looks really normal and... If we had time, we could probably show a scene of her with her friends or something, just acting quite normal. But when she goes home, she's just that's why we like introduce her best mum. Yeah. yeah, that's where she comes in, and we realise that like, everything changes. Nothing that she's not really normal. She's got like a problem. Yeah, which brings us on to the other character that we're showing. So the other social group we're showing, I suppose, is sort of mental illness. Well, it's sort of. Mothers. Yeah, I don't know. Um, but she's not. I mean, like, she's not. Mother, like, but she's, oh, she's, like, she's a mum. It's like stereotypically no. like trying to show that she cares, but in a weird way. Like yeah, I mean, she's well, a sort she's of two thirty to forty woman. I don't know how old she well, yeah, is actually. She cares too um, much though, but, to an yeah. extent that she'll completely control her daughter's life, life and victimise her. Yeah, like, I her mean, obviously. I mean, we're showing like parents care, but I think we just like showed a bit more to show that OCD. Yeah. Yeah, to the point where she's waiting for her at the door to come in. Yeah. And she she's says, you there. are three yeah. minutes late. It's not, Showing, you're yeah. late. It's, it's not three it's specific, minutes that's late. Shows. It's like, not her, not a normal mother, almost. Mm. It's because she can't deal with her own mental illness. She's sort of putting it on other people. 